hello friend welcome back uh, so today i am going to discuss this adc working with atmega uh, 328p in this block i will discuss that uh, minimal programming required for adc block uh, this may help embedded beginners to understand implementation of adc in c language so this is in continuation with my last blog i strongly recommend you to read earlier blogs for better understanding if you find something missing please provide feedback in comment box so that i can take corrective action so let me go through this first and uh, the block diagram from uh, data sheet and data sheet reference i have uh, given at that end of this block and uh, so in the adc block if you see uh, there the, there are different uh, parts one is like multiplexer here and uh, so how it works i will try to explain so uh, normally six channel 10 bit analog to digital converter with this uh, particular device I'm using and other packages it has eight channels uh, on these uh, packages and uh, you can see like um, uh, when we say channel means like particular pin number so in our case like a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 so these kind of connections and this multiplexer you will be selected by these bits that whatever I want to connect, connect and there are other options also but uh, temperature sensor and all that but we are specific to analog to digital converter and this input after that one of that uh, is selected from this so I will be using this AD0 and AD1 so one by one so AD0 will be connected to this based on this logic and then this will go to uh, this particular comparator sample and hold comparator and from this side you can see analog reference then for analog reference uh, again uh, the, um, you have the option to use external analog reference or uh, the analog voltage AVCC that is 5 volt or internal 1.1 volt so based on this these two bit selection either you select this and uh, or then you if you are going to select these two then you have to switch on this one and then use uh, this as analog reference voltage so this reference voltage i am using this avcc so that is 5 volt so i will be mm, uh, setting up this as one and this and zero and then it will go here and what will happen uh, from mm, uh, this actually it will send a number to this digital to analog mm, you know converter logic and then digital to analog conversion logic based on the number provided mm, it will uh, pass that corresponding voltage here and it will compare so if it is not equal then it will try the next so that is called successive approximation so it's like uh, if it is a 10 bit adc so it may start from one uh, you know um, uh, highest binary bit and then uh, further based on that decision it will further bit by bit it will uh, keep sending um, you know data to uh, here and then this logic will uh, provide this um, to conversion logic once it is equal uh, um, then it will provide uh, it uh, you know it will uh, flag here nearest uh, possible and then after that uh, so it will say ADC is uh, uh, completed so that particular flag will be set and then uh, that flag I will show you here and uh, in that um, co converter logic and uh, this is the, it will give that 10 bit ADC here and that can be last so if I let me try to show you this what are the different logics here uh, so here basically you can see that arrow here so from this side uh, 
so ADSC that once it is complete and from this side uh, that um, you know flag will be there uh, inter flag will be there and from this side if it is interf has to be enabled or analog has to be enabled and here mux decoder and this is the logic if you have to ship that particular Mm, uh, you know result itself and here uh, I already discussed so all these things are mm, uh, two registers one is the AD mux and another is that ADSC array so those bits uh, we can see uh, down you know so based on that so basic concept is here let me make it here again so basic concept is uh, you select one particular analog pin then mm, uh, from based on the reference voltage it different kind of combination it sends uh, sequentially based on the binary mm, so you may think of suppose if it sent MSB first and um, bit first and then uh, mm, it uh, compare if it is still mm, you know less than uh, that then it may set next bit or if it is greater than that then it may reset that bit and set the next next bit so this way like in that binary number all the 10 number one by one uh, it will compare uh, and maybe combination of that it will compare and then finally it will provide that adc uh, output uh, to that um, so that see if you can read that so in that Mm, there is a in the power section there is a mm, possibility of uh, switch shut down uh, to shut down the ADC if it is not used okay so that's why there is a bit for that that is that um, uh, this power reduction ADC bit that is called that PR ADC so here you can see the address of the register 64 hacks and the register name is this PRR then within that this bit sh must be zero to enable the ADC if you have if you want to shut down then it sh you should set it one okay that is the one condition and second thing is like uh, anyway that reset value you can see by at reset all are zero so even if you don't clear it so it should work because at reset it is uh, anyway zero okay so mm, in next one Uh, that power reduction then select the reference voltage as I told you above that uh, we are selecting the reference voltage and require uh, analog pin whatever needed so based on this uh, this is the address 7a and this is the register and uh, based on this logic we will select this and then enable the ADC logic using uh, that ADC SRA means we have to enable that AD uh, ADC and then we have to um, you know um, uh, start uh, uh, that uh, input channel, uh, channel selection uh, okay so it, that will not take effect until you set the AD enable so it has to be set here and this this register will be again used for starting that um, uh, conversion and another thing is like there is a bit ADLAR so if you want to um, uh, do like left adjust is required for the result uh, I'm not using this one so it is zero in my case and then start ADC conversion and wait for its um, completion so a single conversion is started by setting uh, so there is a uh, like uh, ADC start conversion bit is there and uh, PR ADC anyway we have discussed PR ADC is uh, like uh, that uh, power power bit so that is if power is there and it is enabled and logic is set and if you set this flag then after the conversion this uh, particular flag this particular bit of uh, the this register uh, this bit okay mm, so this will be automatically uh, cleared okay so here you can see further
so for uh, minimal code we need uh, this enable we need this idsc we need this adif uh, for checking that flag <coughs> sorry interrupt we are not going to enable and uh, mm, yeah, this uh, okay these three bit uh, will be for mm, basically uh, if we see that uh, logic here i i will i will share this so these will be for selecting that um, clock that how fast uh, you know you want to mm, uh, you want that uh, conversion uh, so uh, in my case I have selected the slowest one for testing purpose okay and another thing is like uh, this is the uh, tested code now so in that mm, first of all uh, pin A0 is 14, then pin uh, um, uh, 1 is 15. I have defined and uh, I am using like uh, uh, defining again uh, these registers here as a volatile and particular ab address I am giving. I am not using that uh, given in the library one for this particular block so that we can understand better. And this bit value will simply. Uh, uh, you know uh, set a particular uh, provide a bit corresponding to suppose six number or seven number that corresponding um, you know uh, bit value in that binary this is the logic this is the macro for that and uh, this zero one is corresponding to the data of v reference that will be analog uh, vcc so that these macros i will be using here in the setup I am using this standard um, you know serial and pin mode initialization that I have already discussed earlier in UART and all that how these uh, you know normal code have, you know, works based on these things and uh, so I am not going to discuss these here so I will simply use the library one. So um, pin A0, A1 both input and then uh, uh, this is the initialization and uh, again uh, after that what I did mm, uh, from the loop I am calling uh, basically uh, analog pin 0 and analog pin 1. So I am calling this function means analog pin read analog pin 0 and print and uh, analog pin 1 and print ok. So input voltage A0 this A0 A1 this one let's see this function now so in this particular function uh, so mm, i have uh, unsigned integer this variable then floating i am using to check that calculation purpose so first of all uh, v reference 0 1 and uh, the channel number so channel number being passed here 0 suppose 0 and 1 so first time 0 It will set that ADMAX value uh, for that uh, AVCC and uh, channel number 0 and then I am taking just 100 samples and um, you know uh, for experiment purpose and uh, here what I am doing that ADSC this is the start uh, ADC conversion and uh, here what will happen? Uh, that in the ADC conversion and uh, after that wait for ADSC flag to be cleared by hardware here ok so I am waiting here and um, I could also um, uh, put a time out kind of thing here but um, you know that hardware works so um, uh, I, I, I do not think it is needed here right now and but generally for such uh, flag we can put that uh, kind of timeout also then reading that uh, low register first um, uh, and then uh, reading the high ca count of that um, you know whatever that uh, uh, analog to digital count we got then after that data 
then we are, I am combining uh, uh, this to left side and then this uh, O-ring with this and so this will take 100 samples in uh, in the data then finally average uh, we will just uh, you know data divided by 100 and float uh, we will type cast it average it will take then we will uh, basically um, analog uh, voltage we will uh, calculate corresponding to data so the logic is pretty simple uh, 5 volt here is uh, for um, total 10 bit it means 2 to the power 10 minus 1 that is 3 FFF hex it will be the maximum 5 volt so for this average ADC whatever count we get we need to multiply it by 5 divided by 1024 so we will get the corresponding voltage and uh, then it will return the result okay so for each pin it will provide this and finally so what I did for just for testing this I connected uh, pin 14 a0 to the ground so that I can check whether um, 0 is properly coming or not uh, any noise or uh, any other kind of thing just for testing purpose and pin 15 I connected to a register divider that uh, voltage actually I checked 1.72 volt and that uh, register divider because it was using just power one uh, uh, LED glowing uh, from the 5 volt and from the divider I have taken this voltage and that voltage I fit in the system and this is the output so you can you can see like this uh, a0 is 0, then uh, A1 is 1.71, A00, 1.72. So, this is that uh, uh, continuously repeating that. Okay, so this is uh, all about uh, this A to D uh, conversion ADC block of this uh, Atmel microchip device and um, I have given the reference of all that uh, data sheet and all that here and uh, thanks reading till end so I am trying to improve usability of my site did you find this discussion helpful if so please subscribe to this YouTube channel okay and for open source you may refer to this particular website thanks